I love it when people mispronounce my name. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a Greek war hero like Spartacus, and at others I become a humble kitchen instrument, a spatula. <laughs> Because you see, I know that the fault lies not in your stars but in your brains. Your brains spend a third of your life developing, and language learning happens all the way in your childhood. At this point in time, your brain is said to be in a critical period of development. So let's imagine that this is your adult brain. In your critical period, your brain becomes completely different. It's flexible, it's adaptable, and most importantly, it's learning from the environment so that each experience leaves behind a lasting impression that stays with you throughout life. Now, as you get older, the activity of brain cells called neurons starts to pump brakes on your critical periods, causing them to close. Slowly, your brain starts to resemble the sad little adult brain sitting inside all of your heads today, which is a lot more set in its ways, living with all the traumas of its childhood. So here you are in your 20s, doing a PhD, convincing yourself it's a useful way to spend time because apparently you can talk about it to an audience who had nothing better to do on a Friday night. But what if we could take this adult brain and release those breaks? Could I reopen critical periods in an adult? It turns out a bunch of researchers wanted to study exactly that, and they used a bird species called zebra finches. These birds learn language from their parents in their childhood, similar to us, and this happens in their critical periods. When they get older and become adults, adult birds are no longer able to add new songs to their repertoire and become completely different. So these researchers took adult birds and targeted a brain region responsible for producing songs. They found that when they switched off those neurons that were applying the brakes, the critical periods reopened. Adult birds could now add new songs to their repertoire and behave like younger birds again. And what this might mean for us one day is that potentially we can use this in patients living with Alzheimer's or dementia and accelerate their recovery by simply transitioning their adult brains back into a critical period rather than asking them to do something that they simply cannot do anymore. Because let's be honest, we all don't just want to live longer, we want to live younger. Everyone I've met tells me how they enjoyed their 20s and they peaked in their 20s really. Fortunately for me, this is not going to be a problem. I plan to be an academic, which means I'm not going to peak until I'm at least in my 50s. <laughs> Thank you very much.